<laughs> hey guys, so I've got my brother Tom here tonight. Say hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Awkward. <laughs> um, so so uh, he's over tonight because he's collecting a bunch of sim gear. We've got my old GT track and uh, what have we got? The CSL Elite, Elite still, yeah. yeah. So he's got the McLaren GT three wheel. Yep. Uh, so he's been using that for about eight months now and he's been doing a whole bunch of practice on what have you been doing, Tom? You explain. I've been doing the Stefan Stefan Boloff Beloff. I can't say it anyway. Um, been doing that challenge, trying to get six eleven around Nordschleife in the Porsche uh, nine six two. Um, I'm pretty confident here. I mean, I've been been to the Nordschleife in real life. I've done a lap uh, as co-pilot and um, vomited all the way, but I know what it's like to be there. I can do a six eleven uh, on my rig, so this shouldn't be too hard, right? <laughs> and tell tell us so why did you why did you throw up in the um, in the AMG? really fast man <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think you're going to go with motion we've got wind simulator here we've got vr direct drive wheelbase i don't know man like i'm acting confident but i'm actually really nervous <laughs> so, all right we'll jump in we'll get you we'll get you strapped in with the know how to get into this okay so kind of step around Should the pick side. This up first yeah pick up the headset we might need to recenter it and everything but that's okay we can deal with that so climb in Try not to smash it into any of the screens or anything. <laughs> Ow. Oh, is it too narrow for you? No, it's flowy. Oi. <laughs> okay, so seat belt. Seat belt. I've loosened it a bit. <laughs> so is it Stefan or Stefan? I don't know. I don't even know who you're talking about. I'm not a real racer, I just play video games. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you something else. What? I can't drive a manual. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll use um. I can use paddles. Well, I think the paddles will work. If they don't work, we'll have to recalibrate it. But I think, I think I had it, have it set up for paddles to work as well. So we'll see how we go. Yeah. So that's probably about five seconds, right, off my lap time. Yeah, probably. I'm trying to get this seatbelt out of my bum though. All right, ready? Now just look straight forward. Uh -huh. So you're completely centered. Uh -huh. Okay. Now open your eyes. Ooh. Oh, hello. So you feel like you're in the right spot now? I am in the right spot, yeah. Okay. The steering wheel feels like where the steering wheel is? Yeah. No, it's yep. already. I think it, I think it changed gear. Yeah, I think so. All right, Ooh. off we go. Oh, this is going to be very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Got my car set up loaded, and there is no reason why I shouldn't be able to do a 611 now, I think. <laughs> See about that. Yeah, I mean I'm using paddles, so it's a lot easier. So come on. Oh, I've stalled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, that's windy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the wind? Oh my gosh. What's on the new tool? Oh, this is going to be very hard. Oh, I've got such a different perspective of the speed I'm going. It's just bizarre. Oh! Whoa. Oh my gosh. I've actually never watched somebody doing it properly before. Like I've, Jill's done it a couple of times, but because she's so slow. It doesn't really give the full effect it of what's... It does not feel very properly right now, I can tell you. It doesn't feel very properly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's my... Can you see my time? I can't see your time, no. Okay, no. I can tell you how far I'm off my pace, but... Uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of expected you to be throwing up by now, to be honest. I think I made it as far as real life, though, anyway. Oh, your break feels so different to mine. Oh. <laughs> Oh boy. 
this is going to take some getting used to. Now you appreciate how difficult it is to talk while you're driving. Yeah, who's that other loser? <laughs> that, that other loser that's like really good at it. <laughs> so much respect. So much respect. Yeah, it's, you watch his videos and it's just like, how does he do that? <laughs> You caught it though. Exhausting. Should have put the heart rate monitor on you as well. The um, feedback's pretty strong now. <laughs> <laughs> turn it up more, turn it up more. Oh, he's broken windscreen now. Oh, no. Is your steering completely yeah. cactus? It's a point. Oh dear. Oh, you better start again then. Now you've right. kind of got the feel for How it. How about we turn the feedback down a little? Is it a little bit too strong, <laughs> is it? Too All right, we'll turn it down. We'll come back. Yep. All right, another attempt. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it though. <laughs> I don't want to talk, I don't want to distract you. Still on track, it's not a fast lap, is it? But... <laughs> it's because of the stereoscopic 3D effect or like just the lack of visual clarity or it's it, yes all the above and also just moving around so much it's like I can't focus on my points as easily yeah because it's throwing you around yeah so everything moving around it's just it's so hard I guess that's probably getting because at home you've got the CSL Elite and you're running it on a single 24 inch is it if that I'm not sure <laughs> Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. So the field of view is really narrow, so you can yeah, kind of yeah. only focus on the bits that, yeah, That's it. So the it bits really that matter. The, the perfect kind of environment to get a fast lap time. Yeah, like but then it's impossible to race because you can't see what's going on around you. That's right. So we're setting you up with a 32 inch monitor now. Yeah, that'll be awesome. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of a difference that makes. So what would be cool is do a, do a lap on your old setup and then set up the new rig and see yeah, what you yeah. see what you can do. Yeah, right. Reckon good. that'd be cool. Mm. You're doing well though. I reckon you're doing better than I would do jumping in the same car. I've never driven this car. I'd be lucky to go under seven minutes, I think. Maybe six, 6.40 for you guess? No, I reckon 6.30. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how fast a fast lap looks in this car, so...
Yeah. It was an AMG GTR, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The heavy thing felt absolutely on the way with the amount of energy that was. Yeah. I was thinking, okay, can we go flat? No, no, no. Oh, no, not again! <laughs> it's not real life, it's not real life. Okay, this section is going to be really hard, I think. Through all these, these little quick wind bits. Yeah. Just picking that, getting that, hitting the apexes. It's going to be a nightmare. I'm not sure I'd do that carousel one. Right? I don't know. I, I've always wondered whether. It's fastest. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure people in the comments will tell us. Please do. They'll also say, "Oh, why are you using the eight shifter?" Why aren't you using the eight shifter? Because I can't. <laughs> I've, I've never really driven a manual in real life, and I don't have an eight shifter at home. So. I mean, I'd try, but it just wouldn't. Be fun. We'll have to try and fix that. Yeah, I'll be keen to, but it just won't be fun at the moment. If I'm I learned, I learned the H, well, I mean, I drive a manual in real life, but I learned the H pattern in sim driving the MX-5 in iRacing. Okay. No, the only time I spent time driving a manual car was at the Red Bull Ring in Austria. Name drop. <laughs> huh. Which was rad. What car was that? Uh, KTM Crossbow. Nice. What was your, was it a Cayman GT4 that you drove? Uh, Came in S. What was your lap time? Oh, no idea. <laughs> Not much. Felt fast though. It felt bloody fast. But then in the Cayman is such a smooth ride. So tell 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 us what the story was there. How did that come about? Well, I had a um, booked a training day at the Red Bull Ring in the Moscow, oh, 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 and so it was a group doing training on the skid pad. Uh, for a few hours um, and when we finished that it started to piss down with rain uh, so the group was told sorry we can't go out on the Grand Prix circuit everyone was devastated everyone's all oh, etc um, uh, and I got chatting to the instructor yeah. we'll put it we'll put a picture of him in the video because he's your boyfriend oh, I love it. <laughs> gorgeous man um, anyway <laughs> Uh, and we were having a bit of a chat, uh, and the weather cleared up, everyone had left. Actually, we probably shouldn't put a photo of him, because he might get in trouble. He might. <laughs> he might get... maybe, maybe, can we bleep out his name? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, everyone had left the track, the weather cleared up, so he said, do you want to take a couple of bushes out? So no! I'm like, yeah, yeah, I really do. Okay. So, out we went, just he and I. The Red Bull Ring. Just following him around for about 40 minutes or so. It was unbelievable. And you couldn't even pay for that experience, could you? No, no <clears> way. You'd have all these other rookies on the road with you. Rookies, yeah, rookies. What was your time? That, I don't know. It Does it tell you your time? Well, I think we can see when we exit the session, it'll say what your, what your lap time was. Let me just do one more. You can all turn right. the camera off. Let me do one more. Okay. Lap We'll, yeah. come, we'll come back and we'll, we'll let you know whether he goes faster and we'll show you the lap time at the end.
You're gonna spew? No, I won't spew, but I don't feel 100% like <laughs> <laughs> Don't pass You did alright for a second lap though. Yeah. This is, I can't get over this sense of feeling in the car. Like once you start to feel comfortable, it's just incredible and amazing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you, you lose that little bit of visual fidelity in terms of the resolution, but yeah. the immersion that you get instead is, yeah. That's it, yeah. All right, <laughs> All right. What do you think? I'm like 6.30 at most. <laughs> All right, headset off. We'll, um, we'll quit the session out. And we'll have a look. Oh, <laughs> I've got sweat all over your headset, Ugh. Sorry, man. That's all right. We'll um, we'll, co <laughs> we'll COVID safe it in a moment. <laughs> yeah, true. But we'll we'll put we'll download the app on it. <laughs> My God, your face is so sweaty. Is it? That's kind of disgusting. No, I can't see it. It doesn't. Right. Where's my face? Where's my face? <laughs> All right, let's uh, get out of the. You might need to hold the headset up so we can actually see oh. what we're looking at here for the menu. What do I do? There it is. Okay. And then use the mouse. You can see it on the screen. You'll kind of just have to click it. Okay. So click yeah. exit. Should we go back to pits? Look, see the time or the. I think if you exit, it'll show you the session time. So you need to use the green circle or the yellow circle, whatever oh. color it is. Yeah. So click. Oh, oh. six <laughs> thirty. <laughs> good guess. Good you you guess. actually guessed six thirty. Yeah, I did guess six thirty. So what, what's that? That's twenty. No, nineteen, 19 seconds, seconds. Nineteen seconds off your oh. best in your own rig. Yeah. And what do you think? What do you think's oh. the hardest? What do you think's the hardest thing? Like, what's what's the difference? Uh, hitting the apex was insanely hard. Just getting that turn in time precise. Uh, just yeah. The, yeah. The precision that you need to. To get those those lines right, um, and it's just experience. You just got to keep doing it. Yeah, it's and the fact that you're absolutely though. destroyed after two laps. That's it. I mean, whereas normally you'd be doing like twenty laps and then yeah, go nuts. Go nuts. But I'm, yeah. I'm exhausted. I need a break after that. And you're so, a lot fitter than I am. I don't know about that. But, um, <laughs> so thumbs up. Wow, enjoyed it. So much fun. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> well, we're we're working on the rig. We'll, we'll get you in the GT track to begin with. Yeah, and I'll and, use um, this thing one day, whatever. This yeah, thing, well, know. um. Maybe maybe we'll get another shifter in for a view and you can have that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, say bye to everyone. Bye to everyone.